Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, November. What's the date? 20? November. No, it's not. What's wow. the date? <laughs> it might as well be November 21st and the election results still aren't in. <laughs> oh, the 7th. I just thought that I would do a little a little chit chat with you guys, a little, a little sit down and talk. I just want to talk to you about my week. Oh my goodness, my cat is at the door. Can you get the cat? Anyway, like I was saying, just want to sit down and chat with you guys. If I had to rate this week, I think I would give it like, I don't know, a six out of 10. I feel like it started off really well, you know, because everyone's like, wow, November, new month, new me. <laughs> if you've been following my journey, you know, I've got a little hip hamstring injury thing happening. So I had an MRI last Friday, results came in um, on Monday and it turns out that I do have quite a few things happening. I've got um, some hamstring tendinosis, I've got glute tendinosis. So basically there is a lot of things happening and it's making life really difficult. It is making it hard for me to sit down. It's... Anywho. Yeah, so sitting's been really difficult and I started this new job this past month um, where I am helping kids uh, learn remotely from their iPads because that is the world we live in right now. And so it kind of requires a lot of sitting next to them. Not too long, they only do about two hours total. And then the rest of the time we like, we get up and play and stuff, but those two hours are enough for my hip to, to get angry at me or my glute or hamstring or all of the above things that I mentioned. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm gonna go make myself feel like a real life human being. You know what I'm saying? Eeyore knows what I'm saying. Bye. Everybody. I'm at a park. It's really nice out today. It's like 70 degrees, which is like awesome, but also really sad because global warming. But anyway, I'm normally at work at this time, but I gave away my shift this week because I wanted to. I didn't really feel like going into work six days in a week. I think it really stinks that a regular work day is nine to five because you miss the entire chunk of the day where it's like nice to be outside and then you go home and it's dark. Especially now that daylight savings time has happened. I don't want to go back a hundred years because the political climate and social climate and stuff like that. But I would want to go back a hundred years just to live a more slow paced lifestyle. I think that would be nice. I gotta say, if there's anywhere in the world that I'd want to be during this, this is a pretty good place. of conversation besides feeling like I, feeling like I just lost 10 pounds um, is packages so we have a ton of packages that we need to return so I am going to sit here and I'm just gonna talk to you guys while I wrap up all these packages and return so my sister is a nurse and she had the Verona Kairos <laughs> back in April uh, she's okay now Unfortunately, we we had a little outbreak uh, in a pod of people near and dear to us. And so being the nurse she is, she has decided to go and assist them. So she gave me the task of returning some packages that she had. And in addition to that, we don't live in like a doorman building. It's just good, good old New York City walk up. Um, and one of her packages wasn't delivered. They left a little note. And so I went to the UPS access point to pick it up and man, oh man, these people were not nice. I told them the situation. I said, my sister is not home and she's basically like quarantined for three weeks. 
and I need to pick up a package for her. And I know what the package is. I think that it's something for our cats because um, Luna keeps on knocking over the water bowl. And so my sister bought like a special water bowl that you can't knock over so that the cats can stay hydrated. Um, and the guy wouldn't let me take the package. And I kept saying like, it's my sister, here's my ID. And then I showed him a picture of my sister and a picture of her with her ID. And I said, we're sisters, we live together. Can I please get this package? And the guy said, nope. Nope. I think he was, he was trying to tell me, you know, like, oh, it's not up to me. It's not my call. Like I am just doing my job. But the way he said it was not the way that I just said it. It was very much kind of just like, sorry, ma'am, can't do that. Please leave. Like, I don't know, have a little bit of a, like compassion. Right. Especially after I told him that the reason why my sister wasn't the one picking it up and the reason why she's not in the city is because she's like doing this really heavy task. So it's fine. I think we're just gonna like email Amazon or whatever. All right, I am not multitasking at all. I have yet to put together all these packages. Good vibes to, to my sister for doing the things that she does. Love you, sis. <laughs> okay, now actually gonna wrap up all of these packages. <laughs>
I don't think I actually am cool. I don't really do that many cool things. I just like do what I want to do and then, yeah, just do what you want to do. And like do it with full force and then that'll make you cool, I guess, because that means you don't really care what other people think, I guess. Because cool isn't really what you do. It's like this aura. You just like give off the aura. I don't think I'm cool. But anyway, that's it for this Q&A because those are the only questions I got. But if anybody has any other questions, like leave them down below. I'll definitely do a Q&A video if I get enough questions. You know, I'm totally down for that. But other than that, I'm just gonna finish these onion rings and uh, move along. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna put my living room back together, get the TV back out here, uh, and then I'm gonna Marie Kondo this corner of my living room that most people don't see. So when I post videos and I post pictures, it's always this side of the room and it's like, wow, she's so neat. But that's because all of it is over here. Yeah, um, so we're gonna fix that. All right, friends, so I put everything on the floor. I left a couple of things because I know that's where we like to keep these two things. Luna is down here enjoying herself. Uh, and I'm gonna get organizing. I'll show you guys, uh, I guess, the piles. Oh my goodness, you guys, I finished. And I really like how it looks. Here's the reveal. Hit it. So I know what you're probably thinking, but what makes it the KonMari method? Well, let me explain. Everything has a place, number one. And then number two, she talks about the idea of descending and ascending items. You could see the bookshelf down to the wardrobe, down to all this crud over here. It's just this nice sloping line and it just gives you this sense of like <gasps> calm and then you hit the couch. I think that's so nice. I hope that made a little bit of sense. I really, really love organizing things. So, you know, if any of you have something that needs to be organized, like let me know and I'll see if I can help you out. But anyway, other than that, I think that this vlog has come to an end. So if you liked what you saw, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment down below if you liked this style of video, I guess. Um, and subscribe and hit that bell because that way you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you everybody for watching this chill daily vlog. I hope I'm not making anybody nauseous. And um, I upload every Monday at 7 p.m. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.